Hey everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I'm launching my new colour slide collection. So you've got all this wonderful new product here. We've got two new mechanisms. We've got an addition set, a paper pad and a stamp set. I'm going to be live doing two demos at 12.30 today, BST over on the Craft Stash Facebook and YouTube channels. So you'll see all these dies being used and you'll see all of this in a lot more detail. I've already filmed tutorials as well. They're going to be going up tomorrow and the next day with the 5x7 and the 6x6. So this is a style that has been done before but I've put my twist on it and I've made them in my favourite sizes which is the 5x7 and the 6x6 because I know lots of you like those card sizes. So we'll start off talking about the main dies there. So these will work with anything you already have in your stash at home. So they will work with lots of different stamps. You can, you know, decorate with different dies. But this is the 5x7. Here's the 6x6. They do exactly the same, slightly different configurations. So, for example, on this one, the 5x7, you've got a matte layer, which will go underneath this one. Whereas on this one, you've got a matte layer, which will go on that one. So we just change them a little bit, but otherwise the workings are exactly the same. We've then got this lovely 8x8 paper pad, so bright and beautiful backgrounds. So they are just that. They're just nice to go on the back and then start building on top of. So we've got some really nice colours here and they just work with all different kind of occasions, really. And they're great for your masculine makes as well, which I'll be touching on in a moment. But you can see you've got your dots there. You've got your grid, stripes, all the lines there. So just some really nice background papers. This is the addition set. So you've got all these icons which will work across the three stamp sets, but they also go really well with the past addition sets that I've had in other collections as well. So you've got a little spoon here, you've got a sugar cube, it could also be an ice cube, you've got a tea bag, you've got a straw. These flowers are nice because you can paper piece them. Set of hearts, I love the disc here with the beer. You've got your bow, leaves, you've got music notes there, and they look really nice using your mirrored card to get the embossed effects but also to use with your inks because you can use some of them because they've got some stencil detail as well and then you've got your three stamp sets so we've got have a drink on me birthday rainbows and beautiful bouquets now unfortunately the beautiful bouquets has a slight issue so with this one here they're all stamp and die combos so you get your dies in the back there so these dies were never flipped so what i mean by that is for example if i take this one here if I lay it over the image there, you'll see it won't cut it. But if I flip the die, so the blade's facing up, then it will cut it. So there's a couple of options. So you can die cut it first in your cardstock and flip it and then stamp onto that. And you will have your stamped image. So you've still got your die cut stamped image. You just need to flip the cardstock. Or you can do the, the mirror stamping technique and then just die cut it that way. So for that reason, we have given a free download which will pop up if you do purchase this one. So when you go to checkout, a pop-up should come up with a free download of the reversed images so that your dies will cut it and you just print off those as normal on your cardstock, colour them in and die cut them. But you can also just simply flip your card. You just die cut the card first, flip it and then stamp onto it. So I just wanted to mention that now the pop up will come up so you will be alerted on the website as well. But apart from that, it's a beautiful set. So these are really nice. And for the cards that I'm actually going to be showing, you don't need to die cut these because you stamp them all onto the card. So you get on this one here, we've got when flowers bloom, smiles do too. I picked these just for you. Happy birthday to my blooming favourite human. Forever flowers for my forever friend. Thank you for being an amazing friend who brings colour into my world. And then you've got these two lovely jars of flowers and then you've got your extra little sprigs and flowers there as well. Then the beautiful rainbows. You've got a lovely big birthday cake, balloons, the rainbow. You've got another tiered cake here, which can be a wedding cake. You've got your cupcake there and then your cake slice. So your sentiments you've got, I only came for the cake. Uh, diet starts tomorrow. Life's always better with cake. Birthday celebrations. Enjoy the carbs. At the end of every storm, there's always a rainbow. You've got a little celebrate banner there. And then this one says, it's your wedding day. You can now eat the cake. <laughs> And then this one here, this is probably my favourite one. I've loved the cards using this set. So you've got a cup of tea makes everything better. Cheers. Uh, did someone say happy hour? 
don't worry beer happy and then things to do today drink margaritas and drink more margaritas my favorite cocktail is a margarita so i had to have that in this set you've then got your little fruit slice there it could be you know lemon oranges anything really you've got your ice cubes then you've got your beer glass here but i've turned that into a cocktail glass on some samples then you've got your whiskey bottle friends forever through thick and gin and then have a neat birthday so some great stamps there for masculine makes as well so i mentioned that these will coordinate really nicely with the ones that i released last collection so these were the ones from last time homes and gardens happy days love is in the air hit the road modern sentiments and the modern alphabet so these two here the alphabet will go really nicely with these as well but things like this one here so love is in the air so you've got the small wedding cake there but you've got your other one here now this bigger cake so that's going to go really nicely as an addition to this one then with the cake here the birthday cake you've got your slice the smaller cakes you can start to just kind of it's just nice to have multiple sizes of things um with the bottles here you've got your beer bottle here but then you've got a slightly bigger beer bottle now and because sarah is my designer and she does all of this artwork for me it will be the same style you see the cupcake here it's similar to this cupcake but again different sizes you've got big candles here you've got a smaller candle here you've got all your balloons you've got your single balloon so you can really mix these together this one here where could we go you could use you know some of the sentiments here with the garden one and you know even this one here you know you could bring in the beer as a celebration and stuff for passing your test and things like that so lots to get on with there so let's show you the samples so for anybody that's not familiar with a magic slider card or a picture change card you just pull the top here and it will reveal your colored image now this one here is using the have a drink on me things to do today drink margaritas and drink more margaritas and then you've got your birthday celebrations there and you can see there that's the beer beer glass but i've added the ice cubes and then i've done a crazy cocktail in that one you've got your little straws your little umbrellas there and then i've put the lime slice as well then we've got this one here which is using one of those jars forever flowers for my forever friend these are some of the stamps and again, you just pull the top and it will reveal your coloured image. Now, you can also have it so that the coloured image is in the top. And I'll give you an example, this one here. So you just pull the top and you'll see the coloured rainbow appears in the top. And I'll be sharing a tutorial on how to do that as well. So there's that version. And you've got this one here. Got a, like the 3D ice cube on there as well. Just pop them up on some foam. I used my grid embossing folder on this one. You can see how the embossed pull works with the mirrored card, but if you just flip it over and use the arrow, you've got that option as well. There's that disc with the beer um, glasses, and then you just pull that one, and you've got your whiskey. And I've got this one here, which Gemma did. She's done some heat embossing with the white, so you don't always have to colour the images. And when you lift this one up you can see you've got that ombre color underneath and she's done the straws in different colors but like orange slices there and the little umbrellas and then another one that Gemma's done I love this one with a holographic card she used the bow all the different flowers she's laid up happy birthday to my blooming favorite human and then you pull this one and it reveals the colored image there so that's five by seven six by six this one here I've done as a side fold, yeah. And I've used my stencil from my Whatever the Weather. That one's still available. I thought it looked quite nice. So it says at the end of the storm, there's always a rainbow. So you pull the tab and it will reveal your rainbow. That one's really nice. And then and then this one here it reveals from the top. So you can see all that colour there. And like I said, I'll be sharing a video on how to do that one. This one I love, a cup of tea it makes everything better and you've got the little tea bag and the spoon there. And then you've got your coloured image. And then this one is another one that Gemma's done with the beer. Don't worry, beer happy. And you just pull that and it will reveal the coloured image there. But you can see that same glass with the beer in, whereas I've done one with the cocktail. And then... Got a crazy one here. I only came for the cake. 
diet starts tomorrow. <laughs> and then it reveals that colourful cake. And I'll be demoing this one. I'm doing a rainbow one later on today. And then we've got this one here that Gemma's done. Enjoy the carbs. Life's always better with cake. And then again, just reveals just that cake slice there. And then Gemma's done another one there with the jar there of flowers. And you just pull that one up and it reveals your coloured image. And she's added some gems there as well. So that's everything in this latest Magic Colour Slide release. Like I said, I'll be live today at 12.30 over on the Craft Stash YouTube and Facebook page. So check out the link below to the event and also the links to all of this product. Make sure you look out for that pop up or drop down of the free download if you do put the beautiful bouquets in your basket. And then that will give you, like I said, the flipped images. So those dies will be able to cut them out. But I also just touched on what you could do as well. And I'll be talking about that again during the live. So if you want to see me using all this and just see it in more detail, then hopefully I'll see you later on at 12.30. But for now, thank you for watching as always. And I'll be back again very soon. Take care. Bye.